Hi, my name is Steve Moore, and I'm a product engineer on the ArcGIS Maps for Adobe Creative Cloud team here at Esri. Today I'm going to walk through installing and using the Maps for Creative Cloud extension inside Adobe Illustrator. To start with, go to adobe.com and sign in with your Adobe ID. Next, click the Add-ons link under Creative Cloud Apps. And you can find our extension by searching for ArcGIS. Now I've already acquired the extension, but you'll see a button here that says free. Once you click that, it will be added to your My Add-ons page. I've also installed the extension already, so this button here says remove. For you it will say install. After installing, I can look under the activity stream on the Creative Cloud desktop app, and I should see a message that tells me that the extension was successfully installed. So once I've installed it, I can access it and use it by opening Illustrator, clicking on Window, Extensions, ArcGIS Maps for Adobe Creative Cloud. And then I need to sign in with my ArcGIS Online organizational account. And this does need to be a level two user. So kind of the basic workflow with the extension is to draw an extent over the area that you'd like to map. And in this case, I'll focus on the southeastern United States. And then switching over to the compilation window where I can add different types of data. So for this demo, I'm just going to add a single web map that was created by the Maps for Creative Cloud team from free natural earth data and is available for free through the extension. So after I've done that, I just click on the Sync Map into Artwork Layers button. Okay, so once the download's finished, I can take a look at the output, and you can see that I now have editable vector artwork that I can begin working with natively inside Illustrator. So just one other thing I want to point out, back on the Mapboards window, under this flyout menu, there's a link to the help. So you can access our online help documentation here. And there's also a link to our YouTube channel. So if you like this video, check out the other videos on our channel as they go into the workflows in much greater detail. That's all for this video, and thanks for watching.